go. A good view from in here. Turn around for two seconds. Right, good to go. Right, quick update of the Tractor Challenge leaderboard. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big break time. It's a drill working there. Right, good morning. That feed's getting mixed up today. Kev's just bringing along some uh, rapeseed pellets so we can mix it up. Also, if you can subscribe, we're only at kind of th th maybe 40% almost subscriptions, 60% not subscribed. Um, it's free, just click the big red button. Cheers. Get this machine. That cold snap seems to have kind of disappeared. It's now, well, it's to be up to 11 degrees today. It's summer. Just getting ammonia straw. These two Highlanders are demolished the grass here, so could do with kind of supplementing them a wee bit. Tend to dump these quite early, push them up. Just helps brush up the shed a wee bit, clean it off. Tweak this over the gate and hopefully it lands in the feeder. Here comes Kev, he's got a few bags of rapeseed meal. Four bags. So the yard two, just fed the pigs and Percy. There's a tree down here, down this trap. I'm gonna go and have a look. There we go. Where's it come from? That tree, I think, it's just snapped off. Run into it. Yeah, you can see it there. The wind was coming from that direction, which is rare. So it's obviously, it's wiped out a fair few trees because they've never had to withstand that direction. So anything that was weak has crumbled. Anyway, I've got a tree at home to chop up first and there's lorries coming and going at home. So just gonna leave that here for now. We're not needing down this track for a, for a wee bit. So once we get time, come back, chop all that up. Right, second time we've come to collect the van here at the garage. Um, when they have a collapsed uh, wheel bearing or something. But it's needing replaced and a casing round about it because it's been collapsed for that long. It kind of just dodges about the farm and gets a wee bit used and abused, but not too bad. Right, I've got the pellets dumped in there. I took a wee bit of that barley off, put it over there, um, and we'll take a few of the pellets and mix it through with that because they get different minerals each of the piles. Kev's okay, just gonna go mix up those minerals, uh, mix up the feed, and um, those two different piles, some for the cows, some for the beef fat and cattle. So they are different mineral content. So we have to split them off and separate it and get the right minerals in the right places. I'm just going to see uh, the John Deere guy, he's just pitched up, so he's got a quote. So myself and my dad, we'll have a look at that. I might need to sit down for that one. Right, quote done. It's pretty much bang on where, where I was thinking it was gonna be. And um, we need to get quotes for the rest now. Figure it all out. Laurie's just arrived to get loaded up. I think Kev must be getting it, hopefully. Yep. There we go. Got a good view from in here. This is the fourth load in total. Um, hope, we were hoping to get one first thing this morning, but nothing arrived. Kev's got that feeding mixed, and hopefully the feeding in there. Still two mix, but it's just about there. Passports, right? The passports in the forklift for the grain here, so I filled one of them out for the load that's just there, and the rest can go and sit in the forklift for when the next loads go away. So we fill this in as no post-harvest treatments and then this will go down and get processed and then when it moves away from the processing plant it will then be, it will have a treatment on it. Pretty sure all zero crops in the UK have to have a treatment on them. Greenshaw's needing a bit of a sharpen, fill up oil and two stroke and then it's good to go.
don't know if it's just this saw or if anyone else has got a still saw where the oil cap is awful so fiddly to get to stay on but a two stroke bit no problem right good to go this is what we're dealing with so it coped you can see it snapped in there we'll need to take the rest of that down as well eventually um, so we'll get this chopped up anyway get all the branches off of it there'll be a bit of wood through there get them chopped up when it's proper winter and with nothing else to do turn around for two seconds Oi. Drop. good dog Quite a wee load there in the grab. Still quite a bit to go as well. Right, just about finished. Need to clear up all these logs. Good bit of firewood there. that tree wiped out just opening up this so we can get on with the racking just about finished this section in here there's one two three more bays to go up in here um, and then we need to put the boards on all of these shelves and there's cross beams to go on before that as well but it's look how full it is already it is a bit of a bomb site in here but we need to get these orange beams out all the, all the ones are the same length and I mean there's a few different shapes and sizes in there and then between the orange beams goes these but uh, they're actually for these beams which are a different width so we need to cut a wee groove with a plasma cutter so uh, the bar fits so it just ends up with that tab rather than this wee bit hanging down we need to do that to a lot of these get the brush out of the way which oh I need to take some measurements off of that to get some new brushes for it because the size of them are tiny. Get that out of the way, get that pallet out of the way and then we'll get in about these. This, oh, I've not done a question of the day. Question of the day, what is that? Right, we've managed to get some beams. This should do the job and have to finish the kind of back section in here. Getting this out of the road. So the recycling lorry, which is there, can get into that. Recycling bin. Progress, that shelf's finished. These two are up. Still got one to do here and then that section in there as well. Well, there's that much stuff in the way already. It's taking shape, looking more like a store than it used to. Look how full that is. Stuff. All kind of farm truck goods. We've got a lot of stock at the moment just because of Christmas time and a lot of gifts. Just general space is valuable at this time of year. So a lot of farm space gets nicked. done in here right quick update of the tractor challenge leaderboard and um, we've got four more times to put onto it so I'm just gonna get them written up and chuck them on right we've got five more times for the leaderboard it's gonna get quite we we'll need to extend it maybe soon um, right first of all we had Cowley Hill Farm Will from Cowley 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 is that how you say it Will? Cowley Hill Farm He's coming in with a pretty respectful time. 26.02. Coming into bronze medal position right now. Knox Nick from Nick's Farm off of the off of the podium. Sorry, Nick, goodbye. And then the next time we had Sophie from Cowley Hill Farm as well. She came in at a pretty bomb-proof time of 122. This is the first girl who's done the challenge. And I think it was only the second time she's reversed, which to come in that position with a few more times to come. It's pretty handy, 
Right, so then we had times come in from Farmer Stephen, um, Farmer Stephen here, 46, 42.6 seconds. Pretty good time, puts him in here. In third, fourth, third, sixth, seventh position at the moment. Also, Farmer Stephen's channel, we had Matty come in, one minute, four seconds. Pushing Sophie down a bit, sorry, Sophie. And then we had Nick as well from Farmer Stephen at 1.23. Just, just going one second slower than Sophie. But go and check Farmer Stevens' video out and see the length of the trailer he used. He'd chop a good lot of seconds off then if they used a shorter trailer. But that's the rules. Pick whatever trailer you've got, whatever trailer you happen to have. Luck of the draw. Anyone else who wants to go, um, JM Farming, he's going to do it as well. He's not done it so far. I think he's scared of the competition. And anyone else who wants to have a go and challenge other people if you're doing it as well. Good luck. So this is the updated leaderboard. Rob, sorry. The last, no other DNFs. Quite a few times on there now. Right, one more lorry. I've forgotten where I put the code. Uh, the code bike, the fart lift. So I went and had to find it. He's been sitting there five minutes. Right, quick load. Eleven minutes. I can do a load in eleven minutes, especially when you're loading inside, straight from the heap. Just about there. Probably this and two more. One more. I've lost count. This boy is the same boy that had been, he's already done three loads out here, um, so I know he pays attention, so I don't really need to. Right, phone didn't die, that's him loaded up. Um, gonna leave this forklift in here for the night because hopefully we'll get another lorry in first thing in the morning. There seems to be just him going today, but they're gonna try and get another guy going tomorrow so we can get three definitely away, because um, the process, they need about three a day to that's kind of their processing speed. So they don't want two because they don't have work to do and they don't want four because there's too much work to do. So three is perfect. Um, so hopefully we'll get that tomorrow. Anyway, thank you for watching. Cheers. Like, subscribe. You've probably already heard that already, but do it. Cheers.